We have six important metals that are all part of the platinum group metals. Platinum, palladium, rhodium, rutinium, and iridium, osmium. All of these metals are part of the platinum group. These elements are very rare and that's what makes them very expensive as well. Some of them are more expensive than others because the usage is more practical and some of them are kind of useless. But in this video, we want to talk about element number 46, palladium, which is one of the most important ones in this group. But the problem is, is 20 times more rare than gold. And it's even sometimes more expensive than gold. You might ask if this element is 20 times more rare than gold, why is it sometimes more expensive? The thing is that gold has a lot of demand. Everybody on planet Earth wants gold, but not everybody wants palladium. Even though it's rare, it's not normal people going out their way to buy or find palladium. It's only factories that want it. And since it's a very rare metal, it brings the price up. So at the end of the day, it's the demand that raises the price for these precious metals. Just like its family members, palladium is a silver metal. It is extremely anti-corrosive, so it won't rust. It's very easy to work with, and you could shape it into different ways you want. And in many ways, it's actually better than its bigger brother, platinum. You might be familiar with white gold. To make white gold, you need to mix different metals with gold to make this precious man-made metal. You can use silver, platinum, and even palladium to make white gold. Another fact about gold that you should know is that it has to be mixed with different elements to make it stronger. You can't just use pure or 24 karat gold to make jewelry because it's too soft. So you have to mix it. And it could be different elements like copper. And that's what makes the purity of the gold like 24 karat, 18 karat or 14 karat. But 24 karat is the purest form. But let's get back to our main metal, palladium. Right now, the most used palladium gas is in the auto industry, and it's not used anywhere but the exhaust. More specifically, the catalytic converter. After many trials and error, they realized that palladium is an extremely great catalyst to get rid of smog, basically dirty smoke that comes out of a gasoline-powered engine. But they also realized that the whole platinum group metal is great for getting rid of all this smog. But just like we said, palladium is the best for gasoline vehicles. In simple terms, the catalytic converter turns the nitrogen oxide, carbon monoxide, and dirty hydrocarbons carbons and turns it into carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and even water. So it basically diffuses all that dirty air from coming out the exhaust pipe. Another great thing that palladium is used, that it's a great hydrogenation and dehydrogenation. Or in simple term, you could get rid of hydrogen with it or add hydrogen to something. So it's a great catalyst that chemists use in the laboratory but the use in these laboratories are very minimal because the highest percentage of this metal is used in the auto industry still. 85% of the world's palladium is used just for catalytic converters. And that just shows you how important it is to keep our air clean. If you're familiar with semi-truck or overall diesel engine emission controls, you know it's much more complicated and expensive. But it's good to know that chemists and scientists have realized that for semi-trucks or diesel-powered vehicles, it's better to use platinum. So you don't really see palladium in the emission controls in a diesel vehicle. But for gasoline power, palladium works best. And they're both extremely expensive. And that's why all over the world, you see a lot of thieves going under cars using a saza and cutting these cats off to sell them on the streets. And it's all because of that precious metal. Where does palladium come from and where is it mined? There's not a specific mine to get palladium. It's mixed with other metals. The most common type of mine that you might find palladium is nickel or copper. But that's not guaranteed either 
There could be a gold mine that has it or other metals. And whatever mine that has palladium or platinum or any platinum group metal, they separate these very precious metals and sell them to the market. Right now, the biggest producer of palladium is the country of Russia. They produce 18% of the world's palladium. Then you have the United States, South Africa, United Kingdom, and the list goes on and on. Russia produces 18% of the world's palladium, but platinum on the other hand, mostly comes from South Africa. 80% of the world's platinum comes from South Africa. And that's why the market of this precious metal is extremely controlled because there's only a few companies that produce it and they can engineer a way to keep this price very high. How much are these metals anyways? When we're recording this video right now, we search palladium price and this is the price it came up with. $977 per ounce, but it's always going up and down. Platinum is not much different, $943 per ounce. But just like we said, the prices of these precious metals go up and down just like the spot market. Like for example, if you go about two years back in the March of 2022, palladium was extremely expensive, over $2,900 per ounce. And the reason it went that high is because of Corona and the par market needed a whole lot of this metal and that raised the price. But as you can see, it slowly went down and down because many car manufacturers moved to using platinum. But now that it's the same price, car manufacturers are back using it for their catalytic converters again. So it's always demand that brings it up and down. Experts in this industry believe that the metal palladium has a very positive future and it's going to be used throughout the years. Even though electric vehicles are the new thing, but many manufacturers aren't taken as serious. Like for example, the company Toyota, which is one of the biggest manufacturers in the world of automobiles, they don't take electric cars that serious. But they do take hybrid vehicles extremely serious. Hybrid still has a battery, but it does have an internal combustion engine as well. And that means they need catalytic converters made with mainly palladium. So palladium has a very strong future just because of the hybrid vehicle in the future. Electric vehicles are set to make about 10% of the world's market. And a lot of people believe that more than 50% of the cars on the road in the near future are going to be hybrid vehicles. Because electric cars aren't as advanced as we think yet. They're not as stable. So hybrid is the answer for now. If you remember a few years ago, Toyota invested a whole lot of money in hydrogen vehicles and they released the Toyota Mirai, but it was a huge failure because hydrogen vehicles, just like electric vehicles, aren't as advanced as they intended to be. So that's why Toyota is taking it up a notch into hybrid technology. Just like we said, the biggest producer of palladium is Russia, but it seems like it's slowly losing this. And that's all because of the sanctions put on Russia. The United States is spending a whole lot of money to produce more of this because it's making a whole lot of money. So maybe it's going to replace Russia very soon.